Cash? What's this for? Right on! I am just giving Felipe all sorts of money. Anyway, hey, assholes, I got your armor. You got human armor for us, you- Quit shouting at me. Actually, tell me about the old woman. She look around Cape Oh, no, wait, earlier. that was a uh, Old woman, human, not- You- Shut up. You got human armor- <laughs> It's Sir Cyril's ancient heraldic armor. Oh, what color that's supposed to be? Proper armor should be purple. I'm gonna smack you, kid. But purple is a stupid color for armor! He's right. Okay, Jay. Right. Slime Pits agrees with Australia. Damn, you are like Dobby from the freaking Harry Potter series. You are a right bitch. That's because he's a bitch. Damn. Okay, I can see why she's giving him the helmet. She just wants the rest of it to get shot off. She's probably already, like, got his nuts held together with a piece of sharpened bronze wire and in her goblin pocket or whatever. So, what do you want us to do, human? Patrolling guards. Shout, if we see a little human, we kill him for you now. Much easier. <laughs> Yes, thank you. But he'll have to kill you, though. This sounds stupid to you. Yes, but we're getting paid, so we do it anyway. I'm going to pay them with my sword here. My leaf-bladed sword, it hungers for blood! I can't scream because I won't make up my, wake up my mother. No, it's just because I suck at screaming in closed spaces. And I've developed a small lisp as we spoke. Um, actually it pissed my dad off. And I'm not in an actual basement so I can't start yelling for no apparent reason. I have thin walls. And, uh... I was about to say, and I wonder how I, can get a how I couldn't get a girlfriend. Correction, I wonder how I managed to get a girlfriend. But that's another topic for another time. And head off down das corridor. Begin patrol patterns. Tailspin. side of this. Oh, okay. I carefully step over it like I'm not an idiot. Alright, then. Now, I think the city's gonna be a bitch about him um, having destroyed supports in their sewer. I mean, he's rich enough to not give a fuck, but still. And lastly, to build that big ass trap. Step, step. Tailspin. You see, I, I would have hired actual guards to mace him in the face with an actual mace. Not really, but still. Spike bit. And you finished. Great work. Let's go get the brat. Lol, spikes. Okay, it turns out I didn't actually need this shears. But I took him anyway, because I'm an ass. I will loot everything you own, Carnelian. Everything. It's a shame that I can't, though. Felipe, who I've only spoken to just now. Uh, hey, Felipe. Uh, not interested. But I have candy in the back of my unmarked, windowless white van. 
<laughs> and then I run out like the feds are after me. Never mind. What's up? Not you. Uh, not interested. You don't sound 15. Please listen, brave adventurer. An innocent girl is being held prisoner in a cave deep below our dome. Will you take up arms and rescue her? I overheard my parents planning this. They did hire someone to build a fake quest for me. They think it'll build character. No, kid. You know what builds character? Getting your ass killed and shaking hands with the grim freaking reaper. Okay? And then him telling you here to have these items and get the fuck out of here. No. We do it anyway. He considers the quest. Start point. It's gonna ask you to do a quest. No requirements. Record items. With whatever you need. Two guardian dragons. Your father thinks it'll be good for you. Offer. That's lame. Now go away. My father's brought me some sweets. Anyway. You again. Have you seen my sweets? I had a whole bag, but they've gone missing. Yeah, I'm surprised you're not fat, you know that? You fat ass little fat. Considering he's a kid, he wouldn't give a shit about this. Or that. Definitely not that little prick here. My sweets? Do you have them? Bad move. Okay, never mind. You again. Have you seen my... Good, leave me alone. I've lost my sweets and I want to look for them. You again. Alright, let's offer this. My sweets? Do you have... I do not oh, have your sweets. Alright, I'll do your stupid quest. You can be my sidekick and carry my equipment. Have you got the items I need? Bitch, I never had a sidekick doing this. Here, I'll lend you my backpack and my sword. Philippe will require shears or secateurs to cut the tripwire. A disguise oh, and a drink... Oh, you son of a bitch. I just dropped those. <sighs> Thanks for telling me now, douchebag. Probably should have guessed those would be necessary at some point. Also, I had no idea they were pronounced secatars, but the English are weird like that. A pair of secatars? I swear, if they're not back in the. Oh, there we go. Sake. I have to go through all of this. Again. You got the required items? Then you can show. Philippe will require shears or secateurs to cut the tripwire, a disguise and a drink for the jail guard, a sword to fight the dragons. Oh, he's gonna kill puppies. That's. Well, get a move on. Follow me, you little bastard. What's up? Sure thing, mate. Ca I kill. Ugh, this place is filthy. It's a freaking dungeon, Mitch boy. He gingerly brushes aside the cobwebs that fail the ominous cave and embarks on his great adventure. Of falling into a spike pit like an idiot. <laughs> I'm going to laugh if that happens because I will totally have called that having built that thing. Alright, now edge your bitch ass along this. And if you. F I'm supposed to cross this, am I? If I fall into my own spike pit, I'm gonna be pissed. Young Master Carnelian gazes undaunted. At the trials this is before. probably overpowering. Yeah, alright, there we go. Much better. I'm supposed to cross this, am I? Yes, you retard. <laughs> Young Master Carnelian gazes undaunted at the trials set before him. Can you make Butler Cretin shut up? 
I bet real adventurers don't have to put up with lame voiceovers on their quests. <laughs> that is probably a remark of an employee bitching about the fact that they're not having to do voices. Come on, climb over the ledge. It's not that hard. I know! This whole quest is fake. How can I feel like an adventurer when I'm just in this stupid playground? Because these actual spikes will- these are actual spikes, kid. They will kill you, okay? Do it for the sweets, you fat ass. If he loses his balance and falls... If I fall, I'm going to be pissed. Young Master Carnelian and his loyal sidekick fearlessly cross the chasm of certain death. Tutor, tutor, you bastard. Boring. I'm your mentor, faggot. Don't forget that. Whoa! There's something inside the wall! Damn straight, kid. Alright, so he is shitting his pants at stuff that isn't actually real. Can't we kill them instead? I like what this kid's thinking. Not if I can kill them really, really fast. Can I try? Just sneak past him, okay? <laughs> oh, I don't get to brutally murder. The intrepid Master Carnelian waits for his moment. He waits. Can't go now. Dun 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 dun. Can't dun, dun. go now. And waits. Can't go now. And wait some more. I give up. This quest is broken. <sighs> There's no way to get past those guards. One of them is always watching. Is it a glitch? Ugh, bet you didn't. Oh, of course I didn't. Fuck it. Here, wait here. Go and fix those guards. Hey, human, we're patrolling like you said. These lot actually patrol professionally, which is impressive. Uh, impressive. Australia busy patrolling. Talk later. We talk later, human. Australia. Oh, it says speak to slime pets because he's the stupid one. Oi, dickhead. It's okay, human. We patrolling, like you said. Oh, it's a bronze medium helmet. Okay. Okay, slime pitch listening. Yep, he's the stupid one. As the foolish goblin patiently waits for you to speak, Master Carnelian seizes his opportunity and makes a bold dash for it. Thanks. But it wasn't that hard. Show me where to go next. Ugh, there's blood everywhere. Yep. Show me where we're supposed to go next. Oh. oh what's this supposed to be? Pull it and you're gonna surprise. There is no quick save to this. <laughs> Decisions. Oh. I want to be a bastard and tell him to pull it. Oh, that sounds dirty. Mm, fuck it. You're not supposed to give out spoilers. Anyway, give me something to... 
You're supposed to give me something to cut the trip. Oh, damn, I can't repeat dialogue. I should have told him to pull it like an idiot. Damn. Now I can step over it. He can. The dexterous Master Carnelian craftily severs the lethal tripwire of ultimate doom. His voice is probably actually Phew, through it. did it. Now the second one should be set more close to the ground, if you, well, in a way that would actually set it off. Shit, it fucking the moved! The dexterous master carnelian craftily severs the sec- <sighs> it, it really isn't, but still. A load of skulls and spikes! Grim. Why can't I just kill him? Who designed this quest? It's got no... You're kidding me! I'm not wearing that! Who's... <laughs> Your father. <laughs> because he wants to see you in a pretty dress. He's a creepy old man like that. Did he tell you soft things at night and kiss you before he went before you went to bed? Did he offer to sleep with you to make the bad dreams go away? Probably. My father wants me to wear a dress? I knew it. They wanted a daughter instead. No, kid, it's because your father's an old perv. And he grudgingly takes the dress. Put it on, you fuckhead. Oh, if he tries to impersonate Oh, him, another no. hour of this and I'm off. Oh, hang on. What have we got here? He doesn't look too threatening, though. Uh, um. Heaven's preservers! It's the kid! In a dress! Brave guard, you must be weary from your long vigil. Pray take your rest and sup with me a while. Do what with you a while? <laughs> the guard's even confused. Just take the the drink. Finally, give it here, kid. Master Carnelian adopts a brilliant disguise to bamboozle all the foolish guard. Damn. Hey, I found a bag of money. And it's yours, kid. You can tell your father to go fuck himself. Because that's your money now. You've looted it yourself. And Klaus the chef is drunk on the floor again after a night in the bar. Show me where we're supposed to go next. Personally, I would have let him kill those goblins, but that's just me. And their goblins are fucking everywhere. We will never, ever tell anyone that I wore that dress. Now, what are these creatures supposed to be? Young Master Carnelian finds himself confronted by two mighty dragons towering over him with fire driven from their jaws. Mighty dragons? Come on! Dragons are meant to be terrifying beasts with wings and fangs and flames. They shouldn't smell of wet dog fur. He's right there, actually. I'm fed up with everyone treating me like a kid. No, Give seriously. Me a sword anyway. I've almost been ripped to shreds repeatedly by fucking dragons, kid. You're going to get mauled horrifically. You can barely heft it. Master Carnelian fearlessly plunges into the fray against. Come on, let's get this over with. I skip things too quickly. <laughs> Oh, we are actually killing puppies. Damn, Jagex, something's a bit fucked up here. Take that. Too easy. Yep, Jagex is killing puppies. For shame, for shame. Well, let me guess, that's it's their mother. Yeah! 
Or it's an actual dragon, one of two. Oh, God! Oh, I didn't even bring any food, did I? Your quest... Your quest is finally getting good. You should have let me skip all that agility rubbish and jump straight to this boss monster. That isn't part of the quest. Get away. No way! I'm go Yes! Try to distract the wolf one! Gee, way to be a dick. Just keep it distracted! Whoa! You're a faggot and your mother's a hooker. Oh! Did not expect that. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelled of elderberries. Shit! Your mother smelled of fecal matter. Shut! Haha. <laughs> Bugger. Take that. Just keep, just keep it distracted. Oh. I'm going to be running around in circles. Oh shit. And this, my friends. He actually leveled up. What is this? Um, uh, temple trekking? He went from level 1 to level 2, by the way. He's also got a raging hard on for combat. With extremely high level things that don't actually deal all that much damage. Also, how is he not collapsing the sewers just yet? If you're wondering what that noise was, I just scratched my ears. Because I'm um, similar to a dog. Fuck, I ran into that like an idiot. He's level 3 now. He's going to get this is great. murdered. Horrifically. Your mother was a dingleberry. I hope you realize that. Shy. You suck at this, wolf. You are terrible at your job and you're a horrible mother. Ow. What's black and blue and is getting defeated by a noob? You. Oh, he's hitting 1 8 100s now. He must be training a um, strength and attack. Or controlled. Probably controlled. Wee. Bugger. Good job, kid. You killed puppies and you murdered their mothers. Nice one. I killed the cave wolf matriarch! The fearsome Master Carnelian proves his might by dispatching the deadly foe! All hail, Master Carnelian! Too right! Now I'd better untie Sarsaparilla. She must have been terrified of that thing. And she'll probably love you now for having killed something. If he leaves her there, I'm gonna laugh. It wasn't that difficult. My hero! <sighs> As the triumphant Master Carnelian escorts the fair Sarsaparilla to safety, the handsome narrator returns his bag of sweets. Returns his bag of sweets. He, you openly acknowledge that we jacked him. Oh, it's the old Quest Complete logo thing. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, I do know what I'm talking about, but I don't know how to phrase it. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> Philippe has completed his quest. He receives one quest point. 
So Cyril's money pouch, bag of sweets, two extra spins on the squeal of fortune, some self-respect. <laughs> Let's go and tell my father what happened. Okay, kid. If he bitches at me for nearly killing his kid. I see you've returned. How was it, Philippe? Do you feel like an adventurer? Yes, sir. Uh, I had an incredible time. He was amazing, Sir Cyril. He killed a huge spell-casting wolf with just a sword. What's this? I didn't say anything about a wolf. Why was there a wolf in my quest? It was not there when I set up the dungeon. Um, an unfortunate oversight, my lord. Uh, nevertheless, Master Philippe defeated the cave wolf matriarch and saved everyone. A cave wolf matriarch, eh? That's most impressive. Jolly good show. Jolly good show indeed. Ah, Xenia, my, um... Ah, it's that adventuring woman again. We don't need her anymore. Yes, we've got our own adventurer now. If he wants lessons, I can take him on as you my sidekick. You go kick. get rid of her. I want some quality time with my son now. I need to tell him how proud I am of him. Thank you, Father. Oh, they're going to go play catch in the backyard like a true American family. He looks surprised. If this has anything to do with that bag of sweets, I'm gonna be a bit shocked. And How appalled. did Philippe get on with the cave wolf matriarch? How the fuck do you know? And you knew about that, and you didn't tell me why? When Cyril first offered me the job, I explored the cave and found her with her pups. Oh, that was Xenia that explored it, okay. <laughs> Cyril's quest was completely ridiculous. Stylized, romantic rubbish and entirely safe. Yep. Philippe would only learn to be an adventurer if he were faced with a real threat. Which he was. I stunned the matriarch and buried her under a pile of rubble so that she could emerge while Philippe was doing the quest. The ruse seems to have worked, from what I see. Philippe fought the matriarch and found a little self-respect. Thank you. That was you. very clever. And also, you could have gotten us all killed. Stop fretting. You were there to save the day if Philippe turned out to be useless. All right, you're right there. And why can you never I just tell me Philippe the truth? I wanted to come face to face with the unexpected. If he'd known about the cave wolf matriarch, it wouldn't have been the same at all. Yeah, you're right. And again, Thank very you. clever. You're walking. So what now? Philippe has grown from a spoiled brat into a hero. Claim your payment from Cyril. You've earned it. <laughs> All right. You, you still don't look like you're... Adventurer, I cannot thank you enough. You've completely transformed my son. You're welcome. Yes. Philippe's left home. He said he wanted more adventures. Couldn't be more proud of him. You have certainly earned your reward. I've had Crichton set out your reward in the chest, Dread. just here. Philippe's left something for you, too. Sorry that you got cut that out there. And, uh, yeah, he's left it in the chest. Can't claim it. In a minute! I've got the haircut. Now I just need to work on the job. Open oh, bugger, I didn't pause it. Okay. And... All this good stuff. Ooh, bag of sweets too. Anyway, that has been Carnelian Rising. Have a good one, YouTube.